Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be showing you how to mix store-bought hydroponic nutrients. Mixing nutrients with water is not exactly rocket science, but with off-the-shelf hydroponic nutrient mixes, there are a few additional steps that you need to learn to do it correctly. First of all, the pH of the water will need to be within the range of 5.5 to 6.5, and you can either pH balance the water before or after adding in the nutrients. The problem with pH balancing the water before is that a lot of hydroponic nutrients will slightly lower the pH of the water after mixing it in. So you'll need to take that into account and pH balance the water closer to the higher end of the range just to be safe. Now as for pH balancing the water after adding in the nutrients, the problem you'll face with this is that using a strong acid or base, like pH up and pH down, can actually negatively affect the nutrients in the water, locking some of them out. So if you're trying to pH balance nutrient rich water, you'll need to dilute the acid or base with some plain water first, before adding it in. Next, when it comes to hydroponic fertilizers, the most common options available are the one and multi-part nutrient solutions. And this can come in both liquid and soluble powder forms. Either way, one part fertilizers are the easiest to work with, but aren't customizable. So in the grow cycle, you'll just mix in a grow one part fertilizer with your water. In the flowering cycle, you'll just mix in a bloom fertilizer with your water. Multi-part solutions are much more versatile since you can adjust the MPK values on a weekly basis. But with this, it requires more than just measuring and mixing, as adding them in the water in the correct water is also important. All fertilizer brands label their multi-part lines with different names, so you'll need to read the instructions to figure out the order for adding in each part. And here as an example, I'm going to be mixing General Hydroponics Flora series of nutrients, which is one of, if not the most common, hydroponic three-part nutrient solution on the market. With this line of nutrients, you'll need to first mix in the micro, then the grow, and finally the bloom part, being sure to give each a good stir after adding it in before adding in the next one, as doing it in the wrong order or having the nutrient parts come in contact with each other in their concentrated forms will cause nutrient lockouts, causing some of the minerals to become unavailable. One final note is that there are a couple hydroponic nutrient options out there that are pH buffered, or whatever name they want to give it. This just means that the nutrient solution will also adjust the water to the acceptable pH range for hydroponic grows. So you can skip having a pH test and adjust the water manually. Extremely handy for lazy people like me. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.